Okay, um, here's what you need to know about energy transfer and energy transformation. First of all, the biggest rule, the most important rule in physics is this. Um, energy has to be conserved. That means that we can store it, we can move it, we can even change it, but we can't create it, we can't destroy it. Has to go somewhere, has to have come from somewhere. So, when we talk about an energy transfer, we're talking about taking energy and moving it from one place to another. So, for example, if we had energy that was stored in an electrical cell, and that energy was then moved to a light bulb, then we would say that the energy had been transferred from the cell to the bulb. Dead simple. In this process, there's an energy transformation as well. And energy transformation simply means to change that energy from one kind to another. So here in our cell, we have chemical potential energy. Now that chemical potential energy is then transformed into heat and into light. So, if you're going to use these ideas, if you're working at, say, round about an E grade, you have to be able to talk about the ideas of transfer and transformation of energy. And basically, name some types of energy. If you're working towards a C grade, then you would need to be able to talk about energy transfer and transformation in terms of what's useful and what's wasted. So in our light bulb, for example, this heat energy here, that's wasted energy. And the light energy is the useful energy. If you want to work up to an A or an A star grade, you have to be able to evaluate these processes. So for example, talk about different types of light bulb and which is the most efficient. Now, efficiency is actually a really simple idea. Efficiency simply means taking the useful energy output, dividing it by the total energy input and then multiplying the whole thing by 100 over 1 and that gives you percentage efficiency. So for example let's say that we had 100 joules of electrical energy and that 100 joules of electrical energy is being supplied to a light bulb. So the light bulb turns 90 joules into heat and it turns 10 joules into light. Because this is a light bulb that means that light's the useful energy. So the efficiency of that light bulb is calculated quite simply by taking our 10 joules useful energy output, dividing it by the total energy input, multiplying it by 100 over 1 equals 10%. Now, these things are called Sankey diagrams. 
and a Sankey diagram is a useful way of showing energy transfers and transformations. This one's just sketched, so if you were drawing it to scale, you would notice that the width of the arrow is proportional to the value of the number here.